My name is Dimitri, I'm founder and CEO at Emma. I found this amazing suit. It's been like a roller coaster. Hey everyone, this is Lucy and I'm here at AWS reInvent 2024. I'm super excited to be showing you around this week and I can't wait to see what reInvent has to offer. Since this is my second time attending, I have three main goals. Network, learn and have fun. Alright, let's head in now. So for this community gathering, we've all been asked to dress in our country's culture. I clearly missed the memo. You have went all out. So could you please explain your outfit and where you got it from? Yeah, I googled Australian cultural outfit and all it gave me was some Gen AI thing which had nothing to do with Australia. So I moved to eBay and I found this amazing suit. It has a matching tie as well. What are you looking forward to the most in AWS reInvent? I always come to reInvent for the swag, for the networking and all the people. The people are amazing. Alright, so I just attended a technical workshop on Amazon Q Developer. It was really interesting to see the different use cases and how seamlessly it integrates with serviceless like Lambda. I learned today that Amazon Q supports developers across all stages of the system development lifecycle. And there are more and more new features being released. This was a really great first session and I can't wait for more. Truly. <laughs> 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 I gotta bring up. Oh, and we got the flash. All right, it's day two of AWS reInvent. Let's go. I just bumped into two Tech with Lucy subscribers. What are your names and where are you from? Uh, my name is Rashi Dashore and I'm an AWS Cloud Captain from Indore, India. So my name is Jupendra Prasad Nepani. I'm from Nepal. I'm a founder of AWS Cloud Club in Nepal. Amazing. So how have your cloud journeys been so far? I have been learning AWS and exploring cloud for the last two years and it's been like a roller coaster, learning new services, found your YouTube channel, learning from it and getting my certifications done and then becoming the AWS cloud captain and then getting this grant to attend AWS reInvent. So all ups and downs but getting something new every time and experiencing really good things all the time. So yeah, this has been an amazing journey, becoming AWS Cloud Club Captain, becoming a certified SAA and to attend this AWS reInvent. So what are you looking forward to for the remaining days of reInvent? One of the biggest thing I'm looking forward to is networking, meeting a lot of people. I got to meet you here, so networking is the best part of reInvent. You get to meet people from all backgrounds. Next thing I would say is keynotes. You get to see new products launch, new ideas, all the amazing things. So reInvent is something I look forward for the next three days. So for me, the best part is swags, networking, meeting with the different uh, people from AWS and community. I'm loving the vibe, I'm loving the new culture, and this is my first time to America, so I'm learning many things so I can have a memory for the lifetime in AWS in May 2024. Well, enjoy Vegas, enjoy reInvent, and I hope to see you both soon. So I'm a founder of Emma. Emma is a multi-cloud management company and today we wanted to talk to you about the, the cloud agnostic approach. 
multi-cloud standards make infrastructure accessible without any limitations and dependencies. Deploy your workloads, manage these workloads, observe these workloads, get the insights, reduce your cloud bills, and scale your applications beyond the boundaries of a cloud service provider. Hi, Dimitri. Thank you so much for your session earlier today. So could you please start off by introducing yourself and telling us more about Emma? Yeah, my name is Dimitri. I'm founder and CEO at Emma. And Emma is a company that does cloud management platform. The idea is to help enterprises and the other organizations to streamline the way they interact with the different cloud service providers, help them to stay agnostic and deploy their workloads no matter what the underlying infrastructure is. Amazing. So during the session, you mentioned multi-cloud and also cloud agnostic. What would you say is the main difference and what is Emma's chosen approach? Multi-cloud approach is, is an approach where you use multiple cloud service providers and there is no like clear strategy why you do this. You just simply want to have several and you want to deploy your applications and the right way would be cloud agnostic. You should be the one who decides where you host your applications, how you scale them, what kind of infrastructure you leverage. And this is for me the biggest difference between cloud agnostic and a multi-cloud. Hi Matthias, so I'd love to hear from a product perspective what you think of cloud agnostic. Yeah, cloud agnostic is really the essential piece of how we help people going multi-cloud. If you're dependent on the different cloud providers and really go really deep with everything that you have, all the workloads, all the services, it's going to be a challenge. So we believe cloud agnostic meaning without a lot of change. We believe that's a central piece of managing the complexities uh, that come along with multi-cloud. Okay, great to be back at the Emma booth again. Uditi, I wanted to ask you, from a DevOps perspective, do you see Emma taking away the role of a DevOps engineer or empowering them? Uh, I think it's a huge misconception. We need to actually consider it as a tool that could empower them to create more value for their organization. Emma can actually remove most of the operational complexity and use it to excel and innovate in the industry they're working in. All right, heading to the next event. On our way to get lunch. I'm so excited. The food is great. Lunch options. Very good. Oh. Last day at AWS Reinvent.